Good evening, everyone, and welcome to the Africa Tiny House. My name is Sherry, and today is June the 11th. It's Thursday. The week went really fast. Well, I just wanted to give you an update. I don't think I've really showed a lot of the tiny house lately, have I? Still haven't gotten the fan up there. Hopefully this weekend. But I did want to share with you what I have done. So no building, just tweaking, if that makes sense. Did it come this way? I have added the hutch. And there's plenty of room. There's plenty of room on um, this side. A basket on the floor. And there's plenty of room this way. Plenty of room going around. So I'm quite pleased with that. And I definitely uh, can never go wrong with it. So that's what I initially planned on doing was bring in the hutch in here. I just didn't think it would fit. And as I, uh, I eliminated the butcher block in the center and just kept the dining table and I'm just fine with that. But the hutch is really pretty in here, kind of just brings a, that um, ambiance that I, I lost by painting everything white. Well, not everything white, but I brought a lot of white in here and it just kind of took away from the ambiance of an African tiny house. But bringing uh, more of the rustic uh, vibe back in is definitely working, definitely working, so. I'll move the basket. I'm still working on it. I haven't buttoned this wall up. That picture's just there because I wanted to see white up there to see if what I thought, and I don't, I'm gonna keep it gold, so that's an XL wall. But anyway, I need to button it up. But I don't wanna button it up because the electrical is getting moved. So I'm gonna drop the porch light because I was gonna use the light box for a porch light and it didn't work. That's okay. You know, you just go on to the next thing and you find something else that works. So the porch light will be lowered on the outside. It's really high. It's on the very, very top of the building and it's just too high. Um, so that'll be lowered. Um, that box there will stay there. The light switch, I think that the light switch is gonna stay there. These two lights are gonna be gone, yay. And a fan with the light will be installed in the center. And then of course we'll run electrical on this side for the refrigerator and the oven. There is an oven in here. I just never show it, I guess. But there's my oven. There's an oven and a boiler. I really like it guys it's awesome so I do have an oven and you know that stuff will be moved maybe I'll use this for like a utility closet almost like I can put the battery pack there for the solar as well as all the extra water laundry soap anything like that I could store underneath there because I'm gonna have plenty of room there yay well, guys, that's my update. Very happy with the way it's coming out. But, you know, guys, I think I want to have a little bit of a talk. Not really anything important, but I was asked recently how much money I can spend on a homestead on land. And I am not by any means ready to jump. And when you find a really good deal, you have to be able to jump. And I'm, I'm just not there yet. This is my plan. And I don't think I've ever made it a real secret of what I wanted to do. I want to sell this house. This 
the, the very first Abricot Tiny House will go up for sale when she is completed. I will take the money from this sale and then purchase my homestead. So it would all de determine or it all depends on what I can get out of this house. And once it's done, um, it'll be appraised, of course. Um, and I want to make it right and build it right and make sure everything is done correctly. You know, on a hundred square foot in a micro home, there is really no building codes, only because it's so small. So, uh, but I still want to do it like, it, and it is. It's built at, what did they tell me, 16 inches dead center. I'll have to have the guys explain that to you. Um, but anyway, yeah, that's my plan. My plan is to sell this Abricot tiny home, put it with the money that I will have saved and do have saved, and that will give me my land. I have to be able to purchase something in cash all at once so I don't have that mortgage payment or rent payment or a loan from a bank payment. I don't want any of that. It has to be bought free and clear. Because when you think I'm not going to really have a job when I get there. Although I do plan on working off the homestead. You know, uh, yeah, because I have to be able to take care of business. But uh, that's my plan. I, th I don't think I've ever really made it clear. I mean, it would be really nice if I could keep this one. Because I've gotten really attached to it. This is my first build all by myself, guys. You know, it's kind of hard not to get attached. There is so, so much. The blood, the sweat, a lot of tears. So, that's, I'm, I'm giving it my all. You know, I, I can actually say that this build is my life. You know, and I've heard a lot of people say that I should, it shouldn't be that way. But it has to be because that's how I'm going to get my homestead. You know, so instead of making excuses, I have to find a way. And this is my way. I'm going to build it. I'm going to sell it. And then I'll purchase some land. And hopefully have a house on it. Even if the house needed to be fixed up. I mean, I'm not... Um, I don't need a mansion when I move by any means. I mean, I am such a simple kind of gal. It's it's unbelievable. You know, I've never really had money. I, I grew up poor. Well, not poor by any means. My parents didn't have a lot of money, but... Um, yeah. So I guess I know what it's like to go without. I know how to um, be frugal. Well, everyone, I'm starting to ramble. Um, thank you for joining me on this one. Um, yeah, I just wanted to show you the hutch, what I've done. I'll see you on the next one. And in the meantime, guys, please be safe. Be kind. Be nice to each other. And hopefully we'll see you all on the other one. Thanks for joining me. I appreciate you. Bye.